Hey YouTube, and this is the versus battle between Auntie Bessie's Yorkshire Puddings and Happy Shopper Yorkshire Puddings. <coughs> both twelve, both have twelve Yorkshire Puddings in a packet. The rustling's going to do nothing. Isn't it? So that's the package there, and this quick look. Uh, space saving pack, same great put, nice. Got like salt content stuff, no nothing red flagging, nothing scary there. Green stuff, yeah, all fine. Grammage, two hundred and twenty grams. Um, cook in the oven, blah blah blah. Four minutes in the oven. So that's basically it. There's only Bessie. Come on, more focus. There you go. There's only Bessie there. Works too hard up. And there. So, so uh, and this is the Happy Shopper one. Happy Shopper, 12 Yorkshire puddings. Um, Grams 185. So I'm already thinking straight away, smaller. Let's come back and have a look at the sizes. And that's it. And I'm not sure how to do this, whether to put some beans in it, a bit of cheese, how would you usually eat it? Or whether <coughs> just to do it on its own. Maybe I'd do a couple on its own and a couple how I'd have it if I if I was to cook it up. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll be back to have a look at the sizes of them, etc. etc. Anyway, in a bit. Alright, just taking them out of the packets, <coughs> can you tell, they're both frozen, can you tell which is which, which would you think, as you probably guessed, that, that is the Auntie Bessie, and that is the Happy Shopper, so I mean you look, you're looking at the difference there between the two. So you are getting more, definitely a lot more <coughs> out of this. I mean, it said the grams, so you know when you you're getting it. That's that's basically what you're looking at there. You know, you're paying more for that though. That's the cheapest I found a pack of twelve, and this that was in Tesco's. You know, that was one pound fifty nine for a pack of twelve. This guaranteed always, always a pound. You're not paying any more than that. Quick, easy snack is what I pretty much live on at the minute. So, <coughs> I mean, I did get the old tape measure out. Probably doesn't, none of this interests you. Doesn't, doesn't really interest me too much. So, along here, six and a half centimetres. If you see that, you want to see that. You might seem right, yeah. So six and a half centimetres, and here, happy shopper, just just over six. So that's that there, and the height, highest point would be. is five centimetres. Happy shopper, getting the highest point. Probably say, probably say that three centimeters. So there we go. The old Draper uh, tape measure. It's magnetic as well. You can stick it to metal. There you go. See, right. So we've done that. Measured it up. Obviously the size is bigger than this, but you are paying, what, 59p more? Is that worth it? Me, I'm cheap, cheerful. I usually go for the Happy Shopper ones, to be honest. So the next thing we're going to do is cook it up. I'll probably do it in the oven. I mean, usually when I do these, I let them defrost and I just chuck them in the nuke machine. They're already cooked. Okay, yeah, they're a bit soggy. I, I, like, I like them like that. don't like it crisp. 
So what I might do is, uh, you know, do two in the two in the new machine maybe, two in the oven. I don't know. Maybe I should just do them in the oven how they should be done. Uh, yeah, I'll think about it, and I'll let you know. Let you know what I do. And out the oven, all uh, all cooked up. Feels quite. No, nope. put my finger through that. Yeah, very crispy. Did it for I think four minutes in the oven, like it said. I think what should do. Is take a take a taste. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with the Happy Shopper and then go on to the 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 York the, the Auntie Betty one, which is supposedly the the better one. But interesting to see if there is any difference at all, apart from obviously the size. So I'm gonna put it down. We have had one fish death lately, which I noticed last night. One of them, one of the barbs. Three, four, five. You can only see now because uh, one of them died, I think, or gone missing. And I had a good hunt around yesterday. Took all the stuff out, not the rocks, but I took the rest of it out, and I, I couldn't see, I couldn't see it at all. I had the pump off, you know, had a good look. So I guess, I guess they all had a bit of a feeding session. You know, it was fine the day before. There were six, and then it was just one day, and they just they munch, eat the whole. Crazy. Anyway, let's crack on with this. Mm. Put me back in there. Shop, so I'll start with the Happy Shopper. It tastes nice. Usually, I, I, I need these up in the microwave, I don't bother putting them in the oven. But focus, focus, focus. That's it there. Quite fluffy, nice crunch to it. Yeah, it tastes alright, that. You know, this is one pound. Size difference, yeah, it's a lot smaller, but... Well, only a bit smaller, I mean, we did the measurements. We're only getting a little bit more out of that. But, yeah. Now on to Auntie Bessie. One pound fifty-nine for twelve. Break it in half. Right. That's me. Straight off the bat. Strong what it says, isn't it? A lot more of a softer tastes a bit softer on the inside but it's not there's not much in it so Yeah, it tastes alright. I'd say just only slightly better with the um, Auntie Bessie. Maybe slightly tastes a little bit nicer. So I'd say very. This is down to price basically. Usually the Auntie Bessie's is a 
retails at 175 I think it is, 12 I've got it for Tesco, I've got it a bit cheaper. Happy Shop, but always one pound. And I don't know why I'm doing that every time I'm talking with the auction in my hand. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do how I do a meal for myself. So I do 12 of these bad boys, whether it be the Auntie Bessie or the Happy Shopper. And I'll put beans, cheese, and a bit of sauce on it. And then I usually chuck in a nuke machine. So let's do a test like that. See what it's like in the nuke machine with all that. So we'll be back. Quick shot of how I do it. Uh, Pre-nuke, beans, bit of sauce, bit of cheddar cheese. So we'll be back after the nuke up. Looking messy, piping hot, just come out of the new machine, very soft, um, whereas the oven does crisp it up, but the reason I like the microwave is just quick, just put an oven on, eat it up, chuck it, it only takes 4 minutes in the oven but it's just the whole process in the microwave, 3 minutes, job done for the whole lot, and it might taste nice in the oven but you know, I'm a lazy man. So. Beans are all melted, the cheese is all melted, well the beans isn't melted but you know what I'm saying and then the sauce you can see there. So I think all we can do now is take take another taste test and I hope I won't burn myself, it does look pretty hot. You go down there, start with a happy chopper, 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 chopper. Mm. Love it. Beans in the sauce. Um. Um, usually I'll eat, eat the middle bit first and you're kind of left with mopping up mopping up the bean, cheesy bean sauce with the Yorkshire so i just go for a quick bite mm. lovely <coughs> right, now on to the Auntie Bessie one what I like about this is, bring you back, this is probably actually boring the hell out of most people. <laughs> it really is. And uh, I'm just chatting about Yorkshire's and cheese and beans. What I like about the, the Auntie Bessie, because of the size, you can get more in. I mean, I didn't really fill it too much with the beans and the cheese. I reckon I could have brought that more level. Got more in there. It's got a better, better more crater to get more more filling in so th that's got to be a winner as well I mean just just it's basically down this is all down to size but anyway back to back to the bit I like eating That was good, nice, nice, quick uh, snack. <laughs> I'll tell you, um, not not really a lot of difference doing it through the nuke machine. Um, I didn't really notice much with the Yorkshire's, whereas in the oven I did a little bit more with the, with the Auntie Bessie's. So all in all, the reason it's it's just purely down to grammage and the, the size of the thing, which is going to be more filling for you, which is going to fill you up, which is a good thing. So I'd say Auntie Bessie does win, but. I will still happily buy Happy Shopper Yorkshire Puddings for a pound because it's only a pound and £1.75 I think is a little bit too high even if you are getting more 
So I think the value wise, I think Happy Shopper for me. It does the job. Put 12 on a plate, do the bean thing combination that I do. And that is a meal, it's a nice meal that will fill you up. Um, I was just looking for somewhere about the salt and stuff. I don't know if you guys want to have a look at that, if you can see that. There you go. So that's all there. Is there anything scary there? I'm, I'm really rubbish at reading all that bit. I'm not very good at that sort of thing. So if anyone comments on my thing and says that will kill you if you carry on eating stuff like this, which is probably what the, more likely the case. So I'd say, value wise, happy shopper, but for. A little bit more, you're getting more, a bit of quality as well, probably with the, with the Auntie Bessie, but for me this would do, Auntie Bessie is just when it's, there's no more of these about, or a lot of shops don't sell, a lot of shops don't sell these, it's only in your convenience stores that you find these ones, whereas the Auntie Bessies, they're in the Tesco's, Sainsbury's, co-ops, they're everywhere. Whereas these ones are more, yeah, the sort of people that do have to shop a brand. Sad news is my local convenience shop down the road is shutting after 30 years. After 30 years, they are now no longer going to be there. I went in there today and it was, absolutely, it was empty. I've noticed over the last month that they're not getting too much stock in. I'm going to the fish while I talk about this. I'm, this video is going to be stupidly long now. And I've got the uh, work fish video to put on at the end of this. But um, yeah, they're shining after 30 years, and I noticed that the stock has been disappearing, and they're not restocking, and the stocks. And, and I walked in today; they've got no fridges now. They've taken all their fridges. Uh, there's no crisps. I mean, they, I walked in; it was like it looked like being raided. So what's going on? They go, "Oh, we're leaving. That's it. We're done. We've been here 30 years." And and then you look round, and you've got the Sainsbury's, and you've got the co-op to either side of them. You, you remember, if anyone's watched my channel, I've talked about it before. And um, yeah, so I guess they've had enough and they're, they're, they're leaving. So I don't know what, what's going to be there in the future, whether it be another convenience store. I hope, I hope it will be. Uh, maybe it'll still be a premiere, but someone else is going to take over. Uh, so a bit, a bit sad news, but you know, you must move on. Times move on and everything. If it's, if it's not right, you've got to move out, move on. Uh, so that's that, really. Right. Now, on the end of this. I'm going to put my works fish thing that I promised for Sally and uh, James. So anyway, as you can hear, the phone's ringing. Got to go. Bye bye. Hey YouTube, we're here at work and we are doing a fish clean on the tank, my old bowl. And halfway through the clean, got the filter out, giving it all a nice clean there. Each bucket to chuck all the other bits in, and there you can see the baby. As I said, Sally, I would show you has grown. And that's the other one there. Let's get up the top, and you can see actually how big it is. Here we are. Yeah. Here you are. you got the neons, I've only got three now because one of them sort of died in it. And three harlequins. See if I can find there we are. And that's the little baby one. And that was like tadpole when that first came. And it made it really hard to clean because it used to live in the filter system. So when you're cleaning it, you try not to suck it out. So yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, I thought I'd do that quick video as I said I would. Take it easy. Yeah, this is it. The tank's all been cleaned now. Um, put in the decorations. As you can see, it's a fake plant that someone gave me. And you can see the two fish there. Where's the other ones? Let's have a quick look. See, they want feeding, don't they? They're looking at me. Feed me. Feed me. And... Try and spot the baby.
Here's one of the Cory catfish. He's a survivor of that one. We've had that since we've had the tank here. Done all right. Uh, I can't see the baby bit at the minute. So this is what it looks like in our workplace. So a customer comes in the shop. Do do do. do. Want some car parts? And they're waiting. And we can kind of see a fish tank in the background. Right, small for us lot. Apart from they do overfeed them a bit. That's it. Can't see the baby swimming about, but it's probably in the rocks or somewhere. Alright, anyway, that was just a quick thing of the work bowl. Uh, feeding time. I'll just chuck this in, really, as well. Right, we're we'll due to feed. So get that strip light off. See the baby there. Where are you? Come in here. Right, there you Pretty cool, huh? I do like the plant. I do like the fake plant. Uh, one of the work people, Karen, she she brought that in from. She wasn't using it, so we put that in there. See the baby there. A lot more of a teenager there. Right, that's that. See you later.